Well, I reckon this is beekeeping in style, isn't it? Check me out. I'm just sitting here on me veranda chilling. If you're wondering what we're doing up here, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on me fish tank beehive. If you were able to scroll through the archives, around about episode 170, I reckon we're up to, somewhere around there. If you go in there, you'll see me making a tank out of an old fish tank into a top bar beehive. And for those naysayers out there that said it wouldn't work, I thought I'd give you an update. But the kicker is, we figure, for all you cool Patreon supporters that are helping us out, we're gonna send you a little prize out of this box. So as you can see, my temporary cover's still on here. I guess that might make it a more permanent temporary cover, but anyway, we're gonna hook that off and we'll show you how good these chicks are rocking. Just pull this away from the wall a little bit. Being that this is actually a Barbie cover, it's a bit long. It's almost a skirt as well. But anyway, I think I've taped it together at the front. I haven't been in here for a little bit. I normally just lift it up and look at it from the back. I just hook that bit of tape off. I think it's a bit sticky. Very gentle, gentle, gentle. Ooh. The great reveal. Well, almost. We've still got to get rid of the silver paper. I'll just stuff this under here and don't end up in the neighbor's paddock. <laughs> oh, that's very secure. <laughs> God, it's a horrid day, by the way, here in the wind. Right, my high-tech clip. Here we go. No pressure. <laughs> Look at that. Well, I reckon as an observation hive, this is pretty friggin' amazing. You gotta check it out, they've made the honeycomb the outside edge. You can actually see they've made half a cell onto the glass. It's obviously the way it worked out. They've got half a cell and they've filled it full of honey and they've run it down the screen. And you can feel how nice and warm they are. Pity there's not warmer vision out there, but anyway, you can feel the temperature. So we're thinking as a Patreon sort of like, is it a fundraiser drive? I don't know what you call it. But anyway, what we're thinking is that you could get your hands on some of this fish tank honeycomb for if you put in, say, $20 a month for three months, we'll send you some of this fish tank honeycomb. And of course, it would go without saying that anybody who's on the $20 a month or above, we're gonna send you some of this honeycomb straight up. You're gonna get to watch us package your honeycomb. How special are you? So click over to the Patreon site so you can get your lips around some of this honeycomb. So if you haven't managed to click back to 170-ish episode to see how this all got put together, that would be a good idea, but we're gonna show you how cool it all ended up. This is my extra lid, which was the actual base. So we can take that off. Oops, there's some ladies up the top. We might just put our suits on before we get too brave. And as we go to the top bars. Oh, we had some fun inventing these, didn't we? The ladies have gone on a little tangent here, just in this corner on a little bit of an angle. So we're just gonna remove this little part that's basically, the girls are going in the wrong direction just as they can. And then we're gonna get back to some honey back here. So check this out. So around about here, I reckon I'll run my knife through so we can lift out those front little bits to get back. Cause this is all fresh honey. So we don't really wanna, we don't really wanna get that anyway. So that's unripened honey. We want the ripe honey that's back here a little bit. We'll just take some of these out of the way. Give them a bit of puff. My high tech, high tech improvisation. But we might have some fish tank lip balm with this extra bit of wax on the end. I don't know, why don't we do one at a time? Why don't we do that? Like we would if we were doing a tree. It's really quite held there now. Hi chicks. But there's a little row of bees here just having a little suckle on the corner of this stuff. They're going, oh, oh, free feed, free feed. We're going to get into it. How cool are they, honestly? Wow. Anyway, we're going to put some of this in my little bowl. I don't know whether this is a real professional hive tool. <laughs> Maybe we just give them a little puff of smoke to keep them relaxed. Someone's playing in their living room. It's a bit pointless, it's a bit windy, the smoke's not even staying in the box. Oh, there we did. <laughs> Just gonna pop this in our bowl. And the girls can fly away that aren't involved. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And that honey's not even quite ripe yet because they haven't capped it, so. But they're getting there.
Heck, I think maybe we needed a bigger bowl. <laughs> These girls will be more productive than I thought. That looks pretty good to me. Now we're nearly up to where we're going to get you some honeycomb. I think this is where the project's about to get interesting. <laughs> we'll see what happens now. Oh, now they're starting to get excited. Yeah, I'd get excited too if someone come and wrecked my house. I'll just loosen that bit there, I reckon. You can feel how warm they are. It's pretty amazing. What are you hooked on here, look? Maybe I have to go and steal a longer knife. Should be. <laughs> I thought we would have been right, but it's a little bit long down here. Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Heck, you can feel the weight in that. Definitely some honey in that lot. So I think we're just going to clean that little bit off of there. Slip this bit off here, I reckon. Mm -mm -mm. Yum, yum, yum. Right. In true Bush Bee Man style, <laughs> you all get to watch me do something for the first time ever. Oh my gosh, I've never been in my fish tank harvesting honey for anybody before, so oh, it's a bit interesting. I'm assuming that's why they make the other hives with a bit of an angled wall. <laughs> it's a little bit hard to make an angled wall out of a fish tank. Anyway, and you wouldn't get that cool view. It's a compromise, isn't it, between a viewing hive and a workable top bar hive. I think it was a reasonable compromise. I reckon it's pretty cool. I enjoy watching them through the glass. I quite often pop out here and have a wine and check them out. Okay, hang on, a bit more smoke, I think. <laughs> oh, they're gonna have a bit of tidying up to do. <laughs> Aren't they? I'll pop these ones out the way. They look pretty good though. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna be popular dripping all this over me blooming balcony. <laughs> Frickin' hell, we need another tray, John. <laughs> do you want me to get one? I don't know. Can we ask one to get one? Yeah, I think. Ah, <laughs> 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 well, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna see if I can drop that honeycomb onto this dish. I think it's decided not to cooperate completely, but anyway, if we pop our tray in here, <laughs> Hell, that's going to make it awful sticky if I sit that in there. Maybe I won't do that for a minute. Hmm. Where are we going? Somewhere here? That's going to be a beautiful piece. That's what we're looking for. It's not all going to fit on the tray, John. <laughs> Golly. I think that was pretty successful. That's why they're a bit excited. We're at the middle of the nest. So we've got to stop there. That's all we get for a minute. Just thinking another very interesting dilemma I've just thought of. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to get this drippy, beautiful honey through my wife's house out to the bottling area. We are definitely making a mess. I reckon I'm going to get told I have to come up here, but I'm going to have honey all over me boots to walk through the lounge room. This is a, this is not well thought out, let me tell you that. Ah, hell. I think you should just become a Patreon supporter just so I can stay alive, because I'm probably going to have to build myself a doghouse to live in, or I might be stuck on the veranda with me girls. Oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, oh the adventures of it all. That's gracious. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> I think we'll just put them back to bed. I don't know, the next logistical nightmare is to try and work out how to get through the house with a whole heap of sticky honey. And of course, as fate would have it, the wife's even home today, so we can't even fudge this stuff and clean up our mess afterwards. <sighs> Golly gosh, sorry gals, there we go. I think I've just had a good idea. I'm just gonna nip down the kitchen and get two bigger baking trays that I can put the smaller trays in. So hopefully we don't drip honey and shit all over the lovely wife's carpet. She just spent all last weekend blooming shampoo in the full thing, so if I make a mess. Sometimes <laughs> you should think stuff a little bit further ahead than this, this but anyway. In the original format, I was not really going to be doing too much harvesting of these honeybees because I didn't think they'd do so well. I'll tell you what, 
<laughs> it's all good fun here at the Bush Bee Man Show. I'm going to have to go and get myself a bucket of warm water after all you go home. <laughs> good night, ladies. Just pretend we haven't been here. None of this actually happened. It's all just a figment of your imagination. Now what's next? The lid. The lid. I'll pop the lid back on. There goes that way. I've got my special breathing hole that end. Cute. Beautiful. Look at that. Now for the Barbie cover. <laughs> I was just thinking as I'm walking across the veranda here going <laughs> with my bloody honey boots on. You don't actually notice that when you're in the bee yard because you're on the grass and all the rest of it, but up here on the veranda, you can see it all everywhere. So, probably not ideal, but still, pretty impressive. Oh man, I hope we can get your honeycomb off the veranda so we can actually ship it to you. If you never see this episode, I never actually got it out of the house. Everybody stay very, very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I think if I want to stay married, I might just take my sticky boots off. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I was just thinking if a bloke fell over and dropped this shit everywhere, I'd be in all sorts of strife. Shh, we got one out the door without getting killed. <laughs> shit! <laughs> I'd never get a job as a spy, would I? Did you hear that bang? Holy shit. <laughs> Just as well she's outside or somewhere hiding. <laughs> Stage one complete. Oh, that sneaking around is a bit of a dead giveaway. What are you two up to? Oh, shh. Wasn't me. Yeah, right. Well, after some consultation, we've decided we're going to actually just put this beautiful golden honeycomb in some little jars for you Patreon folks. We reckon it looks kind of cool just like that. So when you get it, pop it in your mouth, roll it around, suck the honey out, and you've got some chewing gum, which is beeswax. I reckon they look pretty cool. But as typical, all the best laid plans just go a bit awry. The stickers we have got organised didn't come in time, but fear not, in three months time when this is on your kitchen table, we'll have a cool sticker on there saying, Patreon supporters, cool for you. So if you'd like to get your hands on some of this specialty fish tank honeycomb, at the bottom of this video, there's a link to our Patreon page. And if you sign up for $20 a month supporting us, I think it's gonna be for three months, we're gonna send you a jar. Get onto it. <laughs>